Are you planning a trip to a theme park this summer? If you are, the Fort Bend campus of the Houston Museum of Natural Science has a hands-on exhibit that will help teach you all about the science of roller coasters and amusement park rides. Adrian Barker, the museum director, describes all the ups and downs of amusement park science. For summer, we felt it was really important to bring something that was going to engage kids and keep their minds active when they're out of school. That's a very, very important thing. And also, we wanted to be sure that it was something that um, was fun, that they could come in and relate to something they, that they may have seen or experienced in real life and get to know a little bit of the science behind it. We are very excited about amusement park science. It looks to be a great summer exhibit, lots of interactives, lots of things for kids to see. It really focuses on the science behind the fun of amusement parks. We've got a lot of great, uh, great exhibits, pieces to the exhibit. You can see the wonderful roller coaster that we have behind us, all made out of Kinex. That's kind of a fun thing to come and watch and see how the roller coaster works. We've got two or three things that kids can actually um, get on and ride and play with and then uh, one or two pieces that they can actually build themselves and see how things work. We have a wonderful Connects exhibit over here where they can build all kinds of different things, as many things as their imagination will allow. It's highly, highly interactive and that was one of the things that we were really focused on this summer. We had a great exhibit last summer where kids could come in and play, and we wanted to be sure we recreated that this year. So we have the Connects table where they can build and explore. We have templates they can use or they can freeform. We also have a, a great roller coaster over here that they can actually create, put different pieces together, and see how far uh, the actual ball would go if they were creating the ride themselves. So very, very um, fun and creative. We wanted to be sure that kids were thinking not just about the fun and the thrills and the screaming and um, that, that feeling when your stomach drops out, but we wanted them to be able to look at the science behind why that's fun and how those rides work and potentially uh, you know, challenge them to come up with maybe a new ride themselves. There's all kinds of physics involved in how roller coasters work and how amusement parks are put together. So it's really an easy way for kids to get an exposure to physics without really knowing it and without feeling like they're in a classroom and getting a lesson. Um, they can look at things and explore and really pick up a lot without um, having someone standing there at a blackboard or, or with an iPad. I think it'll give them a new perspective on things when they go to the amusement park. Generally when we go to an amusement park, uh, people just want to get on the ride and have fun and ride, but the thought would be that they can actually go there now and say, hey, I saw that at the exhibit and I know a little bit about how that works and why you might have two loops instead of one. So we hope that it helps them connect a little bit more of the science and learning. It is all about science and it's about learning how those things work. You know, what we considered to be a big fast ride 30 years ago is probably now a really slow ride because technology has advanced and we've learned better ways to build and better ways to do things and learned a lot about aerodynamics and put those things together to make rides even bigger and faster. So that, that'll just continue in the future. The museum has been open a little over three years. We are a part of the Houston Museum of Natural Science. This uh, location was almost kind of an experiment. There aren't too many museums in the country that have a satellite location, but we do, we're lucky to have one here in Sugarland. And we have uh, five different halls of science here that cover everything from wildlife to dinosaurs and paleontology to space and even some beautiful geodes in our Earth Science Hall. So very much for everyone to see. We've had great response from the community. Our numbers are rising each year. We just encourage everyone to come out and see it and play. We think we have um, made it affordable and available to everyone who would like to see it. And so you can come back multiple times. And if you have a good time today and want to come back tomorrow, uh, we think you can come back time after time and see something new and experience something different every time. For more information on the Houston Museum of Natural Science, point your browser to www.hmns.org. For Stafford Magazine, I'm Kerry Gordon.